Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on angle facts. Here are three very important angle facts. The angles in a right angle add up to 90 degrees. The angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. And the angles at a point or in a full turn or in a full circle add up to 360 degrees. So those are three very important angle facts that I would highly recommend that you learn off by heart. Okay, let's use them to solve some questions now. So here we've got a question. We're, we're going to try and work out the value of this angle, the size of this angle, x. So we've got a right angle. Okay, we know it's a right angle because we've got the two lines that look like so. And that means that the angles would add up to 90 degrees. Now, if we know that one of them is 70 degrees, if we take that 70 away from 90, we'll see what's left and then we'll find out the size of this angle, x. So 90 take away 70, if we work that out, 0 take away 0 is 0, and 9 take away 7 is 2. That means that this angle is 20 degrees. So it means x is 20 degrees, and we can check it, because 70 plus 20 is 90. Okay, so that's our first question. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. Okay, this time we've got a straight line, and the angles on the straight line add up to 180 degrees. So again, we know one angle, so if we take that away from 180 degrees, we'll find the size of the other one. So 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So zero take away zero is zero, eight take away two is six, and one take away one is zero. So that means that X is 60 degrees. And again, we can check it because 120 plus 60 is 180. Right, our next question. Okay, this time we've got three angles that meet at a point. So that means that these three angles will add together to be 360 degrees. Now this time we've got two angles. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this angle and this angle together, the two that we know together, and take it away from 360 to see what's left. And we'll find that will help us find the size of this angle X. So we're going to add together 130 and 115. And if we do that, we're going to get 0 plus 5 is 5, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 1 plus 1 is 2. We're now going to take that away from 360 to see what size the angle X is. So 360 minus 245. So 0 take away 5, well we're going to need to borrow. So 10 take away 5 is 5, 5 take away 4 is 1, and 3 take away 2 is 1. So that means that this angle X is 115 degrees. And that's it. And again, we can check it. Uh, if we add these three angles together, you'll find that they add together to give you 360 degrees. Okay. Let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got two angles and they meet at a point, they make a full turn. So that means that the angles will add together to be 360 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this angle of 52 away from 360 and we'll find the size of this angle X. So 360 minus 52 degrees. So zero take away two, we're gonna to need to borrow. So 10 take away two is eight, five take away five is zero, and three take away zero is zero. Oh, sorry, three take away zero is three. So that means that this angle X is 308 degrees. And if we test it, 308 plus 52 is 360. So we know that we've got the right answer. Okay, this time we've got a right angle. Again, we can see it's a right angle. So that means that these two angles will add together to be 90 degrees. So if we take 11 away from 90, we'll find the size of this angle X. So 90 minus 11. Uh, we'll have to borrow, so 10 take away 1 is 9, and 8 take away 1 is 7, so that means the angle X is 79 degrees. Okay, and our last example, our last question. Okay, this time we've got three angles, and they make a straight line. That means that they're going to add together to be 180 degrees. Now, we do know two angles this time. We know this angle's 32, or sorry, 34, and we've got this little box symbol here, which means that this is a right angle, and a right angle, as we know, is 90 degrees. So if we see this little symbol here, it will mean that it's a 90 degree angle, and I, I really recommend that you write that down. Okay, so we know two angles and we want to find the third one. So in other words, 34, X and 90 will add together to be 180. So if we add together the 90 and the 34, we can then take that away from 180 to see what size the angle X is. So 90 plus 34. So 0 plus 4 is 4 and 9 plus 3 is 12. So that's 124 degrees. If we take that away from 180, so we take away 124 away from 180, we'll see what size X is. So borrow 1, so that becomes 7 and 1. So 10 take away 4 is 6, 7 take away 2 is 5, and zero to, uh, 1 take away 1 is 0. So that means that X is equal to 56 degrees, and that's it. So um, there's three angle facts that I really recommend you learn. That is the angles in a right angle add up to 90 degrees, the angles in a straight line and add up to 180 degrees, and the angles at a point or in a full turn add up to 360 degrees. And that's it.